What is good guys, we are here with the deciding game 3, smoked with playoffs around 1 between Mount and here. And that's pretty hype because Mount performed super well in World Cup in Auras. And he is also not bad at Auras, like they're both the GOATs at Auras. And so I assume this is a Zard Y um, plus Tita combination. Um, Zard Y Tita is way more deadly in Auras than it is in Sun and Moon Oyu. Like stuff like Toxapex doesn't exist in this tier. I assume it's a defensive lander with Rock's Rocky Helmet on Mount's side to chip uh, stuff like Lopani. Uh, Lopani also more common in Sun and Moon than Auras. So probably a sub seed superior. Depending on its hidden power, if it's fire, it gets walled by the Heatran. If it's ground, it gets walled by the Scizor, but it's most likely fire. So, like, here pretty much has good answers to the superior. Like, it's gonna be a bit annoying with these sheets, but it's not gonna be the biggest threat. And the, the drill, I think, is probably Sand Rush, even though I think that the Tita is banned, which, mean, which means he only has a few sand turns. Uh, the other option would be Scarf Drill or Mold Breaker, but we will, we will see that later. The Suigun could be Calm Mind, uh, Scald, Rest, and the last move slot could be either Roar or Sleep Talk. Both have, um, like, different... I don't know, like, they function different. Um, basically, Roar, Suicune could be, you, you're on a Calm Mind War with Suicune uh, versus Clefable, and you both go to plus 6, and then you Roar out the opponent. And then you still have plus six, right? And you roar them out, and then you're like a big threat. So raw could be nice for that scenario. Sleep talk, on the other hand, could be nice to um, get a nice calm mind while you're asleep to like uh, lift certain hits, or get a scald when your opponent switches out when you're asleep to get a potential burn that could help you out. Both are like really useful, just work different. So he has team, I assume it's um, choice spec Kiram. Probably Scarf Lander is looking at his team because the Ladi shouldn't be Scarf, the Ladi should be Life Orb because you want a reliable Defogger on his team. To um, like Spikes are annoying to your team and also um, Rocks, the the Curum is weak to Rocks. And yeah, the the trend is probably bulky with Rocks, Toxic, um, Lava Plume, then either Earth Power or Taunt. The Scizor is probably SD. SD Scizor is more common in Auras than it is in Sun and Moon. So like SD, either the bulky variant, SD U-turn, Ruth Bullet Punch, or the all-out attacking variant with SD Bug Bite, Super Power Bullet Punch. And yeah, Slowbro looking like, not 100% sure if it's Toxic or T-Wave. Um, that that just makes sense to me, T-Waving stuff, so... Um, so Cure Mode Speeds threads that are faster and then you can blow them away with Specs Cure, and that feels like a good combination. And Lander should be Scarf, already talked about that, right? So we do see Zarli with Kyurem lead. So we have a few options here. If you mount, doubling in the Tita seems like a really good play, because no matter what Zard, no matter what he thinks, what Zard you are, the main switches that he has here are most likely either the Ladi or the Tren. Ladi, if you breathe Zard Y, Tren kind of works for both Zards. The only way Tren doesn't work here if it's um, Zardex with Earthquake, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it's not that. And if you go Tren first and let's say he Dragnance is up, then you know he's Zardex. You could still pivot from there into like potential T Wave Slowbro or into Landris. Uh, you, that would already be still um, a tough prediction to make because um, Mounts could predict your switch. But let's not talk about the scenario it, until it, it happens, if it happens. Because I think it's more so Zard Y. And yeah, Mounts could double into Tita, like I said, because that covers the Mounts that. Most likely are gonna come out either the Ladi or the Heatran. Uh, if the Ladi comes out, you can just pursue it and kill it, get one of an, get rid of one of the that Y checks if it's that Y. And if it's what you call it, if he goes to Heatran, you can just fire off a Stone Edge that hits his entire team pretty hard. And you could also potentially pursue it, but that would be a bit uh, unnecessary, um, kind of risk risky, quote unquote, because like Stone Edge just gets guaranteed damage. Um, it might even do it KO the Slowbro with the Sandstorm cancelling out the lefties or if the Slowbro is Helmet it takes some Sandstorm chip damage. So um, that's definitely like a big threat. Like I said, I think that the Lando is Scarf on his team. So Stone Edge will do a lot to that as well, like 70-ish, maybe even more. And he has Curum is amazing this matchup, so he's definitely not staying in here. Like I said, I think Trenolari is gonna come out and Tita is just a perfect double for here. For months, my bad. <laughs> but yeah, I'm thinking really hard. Time is already getting low. This is what I'm saying. This this game is gonna be intense. So we do see the double and the teeter break and the teeter slash the laddy. Oof, mounts on fire. So he gets the heater in here. And yeah, monster just stone edge. I already talked about the scenario if, if it comes up. Um, I mean, I kind of like it when the players are taking long because I get more time to talk about the turns. So I assume he uh, um, doesn't want to risk getting pursued here. So he is probably either going to toxic the Tita or get up his rocks. 
Um, rocks are gonna be nice for Zard. Uh, just in general to get some chip. So it kind of throws Mons to spin with the drill later in the game. Uh, yeah, Stone is just the play here overall. So if he uh, um, goes for Toxic slash Rocks here and takes the Stone Edge, depending on his transfer, it will either do like 69 or seven uh, or 80 percent. It does 69. So like that's definitely max HP heat run. If it, if it would have been, um, so it's probably Spadef, right? Um, now he's gonna go slow to see if it can take two. Okay, and we do see it doesn't take two most likely unless it's a roll. But he's probably gonna have to go Landris, and Landris is also gonna have to take a Stone Edge, and it's gonna do. Bob a, a fuck ton. So like um, from the max from the damage on heat trend we could tell it was max HP trend because I think um, no investment trend takes like 80 ish from Stone Age. Banta the monster. So he's gonna have to let Landers take a huge hit here unless he wants to second slow but it's gonna do like 70 plus like I said already. 74 wow. So TJ is gonna be switched out here. It's still amazing and it's at minus one now. So if he U turns U turn is pretty free here. The only the only um. What's the English word for it? The only negative part about U-turning here is you take potentially helmet damage from the opposing Landris. The way Mount brings that out makes me think he's helmet for sure. And now your Landris is in range from opposing helmet Lando and also dies to rocks if Mount ever gets rocks up. But U-turn was just overall like fine therefore he... Um, doubling into Cure would have been even uh, godlier though. So now he doesn't take Sandstorm damage because the Sand just ended. Uh, perf like, I went, and what I meant to say is that's just the perfect time to get Cure when the Sand just ended. And now, this is tough for Mons, what do you switch into? Because uh, Suicune can potentially win this game. If you go Kuhn here on an Ice Beam, yes it works, but if you go Kuhn on a Draco, it, one of your win conditions gets just destroyed, so that's not the play. Uh, also, Tita is not the play, so whenever it comes out, whenever Tita comes out, it does a lot of damage to his team. And I already talked about the Superior team preview. Superior might have to be the sack here, because it gets walled by either the Scissor or the Heat Turn, depending on the hidden power. And yes, it can be a bit annoying with Leech Seed, but compare being a bit annoying to Kuhn that can win the game and to Tita that gets a lot of damage of whenever it comes in. Lernus is also still nice here, probably outspeeds the trend since the trend was bulky and it can chip down the, the scissor with... It can chip down the scissor with helmet when the scissor goes for U-turn and it can prevent here to... for It can stop here... Um, he doesn't want to go for U-turn with his own Lando as long as this Lando is alive. So Mounts can, Mounts can potentially predict here later when the Lando is in to double out because he has still has this Lando with Helmet alive. Because if he U-turns then he would die the Helmet, right? You guys get me. So, and Zad Y or Zad X or whatever it is, probably Y, still could be a threat. So, I mean, it's either Zad or Superior, but probably Superior is gonna be sacked here. I mean, here could Ice Beam because it's like, it guaranteed hits, it's like it doesn't have the, the Draco issue of potentially missing. But I probably would have Draco there, he has Ice Beam, okay. Uh, Tita comes out, now he can just Stone Edge here and f like... Yes, he can potentially pursue and like get rid of a huge threat to his team, or we weaken a huge threat to his team. But overall Stone Edge is just... As long as it hits, it gets consistent damage off. And he has to sack something. So he has to either sack the, the Tren or the Lando here. The Lando is still nice for speed control, I guess. So he does sack off the trend. Nope, he, he dodges. So now he's gonna be able to um, get a toxic off on a T tar. Which is a bit unfortunate for Mons because his T tar is gonna get worn down. Nope, okay, justice, okay. And he does connect the Stone Age. So that made up for the Stone Age Mr. Toxic Miss there. So he is now gonna go either into his Scissor or his Landorus. Um, most likely the Scissor to get off the Mega Evolution, get more bulky, uh, get more bulk. And then just get a U-turn out with Scizor. And Mounts... Depending on what comes out here. If Scizor comes out, Mounts should not go into his own Landris. Like, it's tempting to go into Landris because you get helmet damage. But if you go Landris on a U-turn, that lets the Curemin again. And Curemin is a problem to Mounts' team. We have figured out that much. Like, it's, it's a huge problem for him. So he should not go into, into Landris as he makes the, the Scizor play. So he's gonna make a U-turn here. Um, yeah, I'm a big fan of the of the... Excadrill play. We do see he's not, not Mold Breaker, so he's most likely Sand Rush Drill. So he's either gonna go Slowbro or um, what should we call it? Slowbro or Landris here. And I think okay, get Slowbro. Now Mons can get the Rapid Spin off because even if he gets Skull Burned or like Crit something like that, 
Yes, Rocker is already dead, which means no rocks for the rest of the game. That's amazing. Suiku not getting chipped, Zart not having to deal with rocks. Cheetah not having to get chipped, amazing for mounts, that's what he wants. His entire team not getting chipped, basically. So he can spin here, I also- oh, he has leftovers drill, interesting. I also think he can live a scald. It is 77, I did not think it would do that much, but drill can live, does not get burned, so that's nice for mounts to keep it alive. Now we can go to Suicune here. Um, unless the Slowbro is calm mind, then, um, if the Slowbro is calm mind, I guess he could beat the Kuhn. But otherwise, um, um, yeah, I could see the, the Slowbro being T-Wave, I don't know if I talked about it already, because I'm, like, kind of talking a lot in this game. This, this game is super exciting, but yeah, mounts can calm mind up here, and if this is not calm mind Slowbro, um, he is forced out. And what is he even going to? Uh, he goes to yeah. I was thinking that he could go into Lannis if he had knockoff to get rid of the Kuhn lefty that potentially, but then he always has to fear um, Mount's land on the back with helmet that could kill his own Lando. So I'm thinking he's gonna SD up or knock off or he's knock off Scissor. Okay, he does not get burned. So his Suicune counter is Scissor not getting burned um, because now Suicune has Call Mines up, which means um, Draco from Kyurem doesn't kill anymore. But he still has to like Draco it to force it to to. Um, like he still has to potentially drag it to get the Kuhn low and force it to uh, go for rest. And we do the scissor went first, so that, that confirms us. I think that confirms us that the Suicune went for roar, because we just saw the Suicune outsped the scissor the turn before. So unless this was a speed tie, which I don't think it is. I think scissor would have to run a lot of speed for that, right? Unless this is a speed tie, so you can run for raw here. So he can go to whatever he wants, um, I guess. Lando or slow bro, whatever he does not want in, and then get whirlwind uh, roared out. Did I say whirlwind? I mean roar, roared out, and then hope that he gets uh, roared into the correct mon. So he goes into Landris, okay, and there is the roar. So that confirms us that he is command roar rest scald. So Ladi does not beat the Kuhn. I think Sasha does like 30 ish, and then Kuhn still has leftovers. Um, so he does switch out, yeah. Did he comment again? Oh, okay, okay. He switches out, potentially fearing a trick, I think, or... Yeah, yeah I guess he feared a potential... Ladi being Specs, I guess. Specs Psyshock would be the problem, but I think he could have still rested. Yeah, but... I don't know. But now, uh, the Scissor came in on the... Whatchamacallit? Man, this is going too fast. I'm trying to explain the turns from earlier, and this is going too fast. With Drew Ladi, send out Scissor. Okay, so he switched out the Ladi into the Scissor, and then you turned um, in case the drill stand in, it would have killed the drill. If the drill switches out, he got in his Kyurem, so that was uh, a fine play by here. And now Mounts either has to predict the Ice Beam correct and go into Suicune, but that's a bit risky. Uh, I think Suicune is at, was at 66, so it can take two Ice Beams, but if he goes for Draco here, Kuhn will get blown away. Okay, he went for Ice Beam. So now Mounts is gonna have to go for Rest, otherwise he gets two hit KO'd. But the pressure ability is coming through here, he's um, getting rid of two Ice Beam PP, four Ice Beam PP actually. Oh, he's trying to free them there, I guess? Uh, I don't like that play. I would have switched out there if I was here. So now he's gonna have to switch um, either Landris and knock to knock this off if he has that, or Scissor to SD up again. As he just U turns out raw, raw without SDing. Okay. So the Kuhn is gonna wake up next turn, and there's the Kyurem. Okay, yeah, this is this was this was to find the right play by here. Never mind. Yeah, because now he doesn't have Karma boosts anymore, and Draco um, now blows the Suicune away. Um, I would probably rest here if I was mount. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, I would rest here, yeah. Never mind. Yeah, he can rest. And if it's timid, Drago, I don't think he has a chance to kill. If it's modest, he has a slight chance to kill. But yeah, earlier what I was talking about, um, he switched out the Kuhn on a potential trick from the Ladi, right? But I didn't think, ooh, he lives on one. There must have been a roll. But that confirms that it's modest cure, I think. Unless this is like no spadef, minus spadef nature Kuhn. So now he's forced out and the Kuhn can burn sleep turns. I guess he's gonna... U turn again or SD? Okay, SD. Yeah, yeah, SD was the play because. And now he has to fear getting burned again. Because if you don't SD there, if you just. That did nothing, good god. This this thing is so fat. Did he comment? Uh, no, no, you obviously just called it. My bad, my bad, my bad. Dude, this game is like hype, but like, it's tough to like keep count of everything. I'm, tr I'm trying to talk about so much, but then the, the game is like still progressing. Like, I, he already confirmed Scarf Landris, so I didn't think that the Ladi would be Trick, but I guess he was feeling um, a Specs Trick or a Specs Ladi. But like I said, Scissor was already SD confirmed, right? So the Ladi is most likely Defog. So I don't think Specs Defog is a thing. 
And now it's at minus two after the he sacked off the drill uh, because he didn't like he kind of had to sack the drill it was low and taking letting anything else take a hit would have been a bad play. And the rock is already dead, so he doesn't need the drill. Now he can get a pursuit of on the. Um, now he can get a Bethuda on the Kyurem here and weaken one of his one of the huge threats to his team because if you remove the Kyurem then all you have to do is get the burn on the Scissor and then your Suicune pretty much wins because the way he played this he switched his Ladi out on the Suicune so I don't think he specs and I also think he doesn't I also think he doesn't have trick just from looking at his team and from how it has been played so he gets the pursuit of that 67 I actually thought it was done a little bit more Lando comes out um, mounts is Probably gonna go to his Landris here to try and kill the. Oh my God! Hi, he is fire. Doubles in the Q and predicting the Lando. Yeah, yeah, this is what I'm talking about uh, earlier. Mons could have potentially predicted that because, but then again, Tita is I guess too important. There was a fire play by here, knowing that his, the Lando was gonna come out to try and kill his Lando with helmet. And now he kind of gets a kill with Draco. Mons might have to thank his Landris here. The, or would he say Zard? Okay, he throws in the Zard. Um, a Zard could have lived maybe an Ice Beam, but definitely not a Draco. And now Kuhn comes out again. Oh, Tita. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, that was the correct play because you. Yeah, okay, I understand that. You want to pursue the threat to your team. Um, he Draco's predicting the pursuit. Com completely fine play. Fire play. But obviously, Mons pursuing is a fine play because. Oh, I say, I'm saying fine too often. It's the correct play pursuing because. Um, you want that threat to your team gone. So now Suikun doesn't get stopped by much. Suikun still has leftovers, and um, if it uh, gets the burn on Scissor, Scissor is going to be able to roost here. Mounts can uh, go into a Suikun. But if Suikun ever burns the Scissor, I don't see much stopping the Suikun. And he's going to scald or call mind. Yeah, he's scalded. Damn, this, like, this game is fire, but like it's just tough to keep up track, like to talk about everything that I want to talk about and to like not still, not not stop talking about the turns that are still happening. So he does not get the burn again, and now he's forced out because he does not have a comment boost. So he is uh, getting quite lucky here, not getting burned. And I think that Tita is too low to take two Dragos, so Tita is not the play here. Um, Mounts might have to sack his Landris here. Drake was pretty fine, uh, like free here for here as long as it connects, gets a kill. I think the DJ was at 55 if I recall correctly, so we'll definitely get two KO'd. Yeah, I wish every match was hyped like this. <laughs> Doubles in the scissor predicting the lander set or the Tita sag, okay. Yeah, that, that, okay, doubling into uh, scissor covered uh, the Tita sag and it covered the lander sag. So now, um, He is going to be able to roost. Oh, okay, okay, I, I kind of understand that play. I guess he didn't want to Draco, because if he draco there, um, the Suicune afterwards would have been able to set up all over the Lari with Calm Mind. So he does get a crit there, and... I think Mounts might not go in, now go into Suicune, anticipating the Bullet Punch. Still wanting to keep his Tita around, but yeah, at this point it's pretty much obvious that uh, he is Slowbro is not command. If I haven't talked about that yet, he was Lando predicting the bullet punch. Ooh, yeah, I said Kuhn because uh, because the Lando was at minus one and he could have set up. But going Lando and getting up rocks is also nice because now um, he has to defog unless unless like if he doesn't defog, his Lando dies to rocks. And if his Lando dies to rocks, I think Lando's the only one that might have knock off on his team. Let's see if he gets the burn. Does not get the burn. Damn, the scissor is well trained. <laughs> so now he might uh, defog because he wants to get rid of the rocks um, that kill the landers. He just drag was understandable, but I don't think Mons was ever staying in there. So he could have technically defog predicting the switch. I know it would have been kind of risky. I guess earlier he didn't uh, Draco because then, like I said, uh, Kuhn would have been able to comment up over, over the Ladi. And the only thing that La uh, Kuhn then needs to win as a burn on the scissor because it seems this logo does not have calm mind. So Draco, the miss didn't matter because the next Draco hits. Uh, Kuhn is gonna be able to, um, I guess he could pursue this as well. Now I think you go with Kuhn here and you, um, you go to Kuhn and you, 
either rest or calm mind. I think you rest with Kuhn. Hmm. Yeah, there's the Kuhn and minus two Drago doesn't kill. I assume it is like 30-ish, maybe maybe 35. So he is either gonna defog here if he has knockoff on Landris then to get rid of the lefties. But even if he has even if he has that, he still has to hope that his scissor doesn't get burned. So there's the rest. So now his scissor has a turn to SD because the Kuhn is asleep, and then another turn to U-turn out, right? So he SDs and I guess he could try to put SD to um SD up more. But just you turning is fine, the Kuhn was still asleep. Now he goes to Ladi, and I don't think Draco kills from here, so Mounts can rest again. No, wait. Hmm. Mounts might have to switch into Tita here, I'm not sure. Like, how much does Draco do to, to um, Suikun? I wish I had a calculator on the side. I think it does around. Maybe, like, maybe it kills. Yeah, I think it's like a roll. Mm, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, I would have put a roll probably in his favor. So he is T-Bolt, wow. So he doesn't have Psy Shock. Um, Draco kills anyway, so the para doesn't matter. Unless he unless he defox here and the Tita gets para, then the para sucks a bit. Like, uh, let's say he gets the defog off and then he can T-Bolt the Tita down and his Ladi is still alive and then his Ladi just wins with Draco. That would be really unfortunate. But he just Draco, so it didn't matter really because, yeah. It didn't even come to play the para. If he defogged there and the para came to play, that would have been annoying. Okay, so now it's a minus two. So Mount is gonna be able to command, right? I think command is the play here for sure. <laughs> because you need boosts um, so that the Ladi doesn't beat you. For whenever the Ladi comes in again later. So he is playing now is either the defog and then try to knock off the lefties or to um, go scissor and SD up and hope you don't get burned again, which is like. Super surprising to me that the scissor doesn't get burned yet, because he already used like four scores. I, like I didn't count, but he already used a few scores on the scissor. Maybe it was three, maybe it was four. And his other out is if his no Lando doesn't have knockoff. Like knockoff on Lando would be helpful with the Kuhn to like kind of um, get rid of his longevity. Um, if he does not have that, his only other win con is critting with Ladi. <laughs> Because if Kuhn gets up comments, even if Ladi switches out and comes back in, it cannot beat it anymore. And Scizor will eventually get burned. We all know how Skull works if it stays on Kuhn. But yes, yeah, so Chat is getting wild. Um, I think this is uh, one of the reasons why some of you guys watch my videos. Um, you want to see the Chat go wild. But I've been working on my narration as well. Um, like You guys can tell me in the comments, but I feel... Over the last one, two months at least, um, most of the time my narration has gotten better for sure. There's obviously still some, some like little errors. Like obviously that happens. You can't be Jesus and get every narration correct. But like overall, I think it has definitely gotten better. Like I try to, I try, I try to like somewhat um, talk ahead and see what the players could do next turn, and like not just wait anymore till they make their play. I only do that sometimes if I don't know what's going on in some games. But yeah, um. Either defog and go Lando to knock off the Kuhn's leftovers is the play, or if you don't have that, you go Scissor and then SD up and pray you don't get burned. That's I already talked about his options there, that's why I had time to add something else, pretty much. But like I said, I'm kind of a fan of this when they take longer, because I just get more time to think about the game, right? If they play super fast, it's just tough for me. <laughs> and... So what are you here? Do you recover, or do you just go... Hmm. Like, if you go hard lander here on a skull, then the potential of knocking off the Kuhn is, is gone and you can't do that anymore. So, I don't know if you go hard lander. Maybe you roost up. Maybe you roost up first and then make the Kuhn think, oh, okay, okay, I can just keep coal mining. And then you go land on a coal mine and you knock it off. That's an option. But even then, even if you knock it, if the Kuhn coal mines so much, it becomes like, oh, it becomes tough. Like I said, then the like then if the Kuhn commands more, um, the damage it does the scissor is getting more and more. Like even if it doesn't get the burn, so just just go scissor. Okay, so I see what I see what he's doing. Okay, I see what he's doing. So he wants to SD first, weaken the Suicune, and then he wants to knock um, 
Or oh, maybe he's even gonna sack his. Okay, so he gets a slow U turn into Landris, and now he gets the knockoff. Otherwise, this doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah, there's the knockoff. So now he gets rid of the longevity. He rests up there. He is gonna have to switch out here. So he can either scissor on Roost or he can go Ladi and start spamming T Bolt slash Draco. Most likely he's gonna be spamming T Bolt before Draco, obviously. Be. Um, but even then, since Suikun has pressure, um, you only get a few chances to get the crit on Kuhn. I haven't counted how many um, T Bolt he has used already, but I think T Bolt has 24 PP, right? So if he has used 2 already, that means he has 22. That means he only has 11 T Bolts um, because Suikun has pressure. Was it 20 P? What is 24? Was it 16? I feel super dumb for not knowing that at the moment. Yeah, I feel super dumb. Like, <laughs> I think it's 24 PP. But yeah, he is obviously gonna switch here. Pretty obvious, right? Okay, so he knows that the the, the Kuhn is asleep for two turns and he can roost up here. Um, and SD then. So now the Kuhn is waking up. Let's see if we get the burn here. There is the burn. Took long enough. So now that you done the zero. But yeah, Kuhn doesn't have any leftovers. But the thing is, it doesn't matter. Suikun wins as long as it doesn't get crit. Like, yeah, I talked about this the entire time. He kind of got rid of the longevity. But still, as long as he doesn't. As long as the Kuhn doesn't get crit, um, it's over. So now he has to T bolt first, um, I would guess. It doesn't really matter if he T-Bolts or Dracos because he has to crit anyway. But probably he's T-Bolting first because if he Dracos he lowers his special attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. T-Bolting... Okay, he recovers first so he can... so he doesn't die, okay. And mount Scalds to try and get the burn. And now Mounts should Calm Mind up again. Because he does not have leftovers, right? So he should make sure that these T-Bolts are not doing too much. Uh, he's gonna... Okay, I would have commented again there, but I guess resting was fine. I mean, if you get crit, you're screwed no matter what. So it doesn't really... Oh my fucking god! So that sucks. The game ends here. So he just gets the crit there. Uh, he would have only had a few chances to get the crit because of the pressure ability from Suicune. Um, early on the game, his scissor never got burned and he got burned that game. I know it happens. Like, there's an opportunity that you don't get the burn with the early squad. But I think he used like, at least four where he didn't get the burn. Maybe it was even five, I don't remember. I think it was four. Well, the game is over here, but it was still a pleasure to watch to God at RSOU. Hope you guys all enjoyed. <laughs> and whatchamacallit. I mean, I know it happens. You get attacked multiple times. Eventually, you can get crit. But it's still unfortunate for months. But yeah, this was a fire game. You guys can expect more Smoke Twist playoffs in the next days. Uh, what else are we gonna have on the channel? We're gonna have Smoke and Snake Draft Finals on the channel. I uh, already also, um, yeah, more OT series. It's gonna be recorded live. Um, OT Finals is gonna be next week. It's also gonna be recorded. Yeah, have a fantastic day. Smash the like button if you enjoyed. And goodbye. Yeah, this game, this game was fire. I just don't like the crit at the end. But yeah, grats to here for moving on to the next round, aka top 8 of Smoke Tools, and goodbye friends.